Enabling discussions in your lesson. Let's click inside of one of your lessons and let's enable discussions. Now enabling discussions is available in all of the lesson types. So wherever you go, you have that ability to turn it on or off on multiple lessons, not just one. If you enable the discussions for this lesson, all the students who have purchased this lesson will be allowed to participate in this discussion. So this is in the lesson. This is not a community. A community is tied to a whole course. Discussions are for single individual lessons within your course. So let us now click enable discussions and let's just make sure that that's on, which it is. And now I'm going to go into it as a student and you will see that there will be an inline discussion and this is important to know because as soon as you click this button you have show discussion in line so I'm going to leave this off and you can see the difference between turning this on and leaving it off so as you can see here it says if you turn this option on the discussion will be shown right below your content on this lesson if you turn this option off by default this discussion will be shown as a pop-up over the lesson when you activate it. So let's go in and have a look at this. This is on the first discussion. I'm logged in as a student now and I'm going to just refresh the page for these changes to take effect and I'm going to go in to revisit. And what you're going to see now is we have a little button up here and you click it and what you will have is a discussion come up. So you can start a discussion with little emojis as well inside here and you can also post images, there's some pasting video links or paste a link in here. So you have this ability in here. Now let's have a look at what happens when we turn the inline off. Remember there's nothing below the video yet. There's just this discussions area up here. So let me just close this down and turn on inline. This will automatically save in this case and we're going to go back to the lesson and we're going to refresh this page and now what you'll see is below the content you have an inline discussion area. This is my preferred method. You also have the pop-up as well but my preferred method is to have it in line like this and this enables you to see the discussions come up in your dashboard so when someone does actually post something there you'll get a little number come up here and you can scroll down and you can go straight to that discussion and answer it within that particular lesson be very careful with discussions because too many discussion threads within a course can be an administration nightmare and I would say to you that if you're going to have multiple discussions, maybe consider using the communities feature up here. For communities, see our support documents on that subject.